This is uh, the welcome gong at the monastery. Yeah, I can't listen to that for too long or I, I won't be able to speak. So. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could tell me about um, what first started pouring into your mind about mm. opening the monastery, open this new way. Mm. Yeah, it was quite a surprise, actually, because um, yeah, the way that we've used it in the past, uh, it seemed like there was a completion with that last year. And, um, and so I was in Mexico, actually, and I started hearing early, early in the morning about inspiration about the monastery. And I thought, well, I'm not, I'm not at the monastery. I'm in Mexico, mm. so I just want to stay present. But I couldn't deny it. I could feel this stream of spirit-inspired ideas coming through and, and just uh, really opening up to the heart of what we're all about, which is, you know, the stillness. And here is a place where you can come to and nurture that stillness. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel so blessed to be a part of because that's what I feel deeply in my heart is, is, is what I want to share with people now. It's not really so much about um, teachings or, or anything like that here. We're really talking about silent personal stays which we've opened it up now to the public to be able to come to the monastery and really um, just drench themselves in that stillness and that vibration of uh, grace and healing. And so that felt really beautiful to have that come in. And, and we're going to start taking mm. uh, reservations for that in May. So those are stays of two or more days, and it's by prearranged agreement, you yeah. know, so that everybody's clear on what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, you can come in and you can just stay here in a private private space and meals are included and and of course we'll we'll share our website with you and the other things that feel inspiring is that people are are going to be drawn here to help this mm. uh, get underway actually because uh, David asked me the other day well where's where's where are the people where's the team and I said oh I can feel them coming already mm. and then of course since that talk there's been several that have put their hand up and said, I really feel what's happening there and I really want to come and, and, and support and serve in that way because it's mm. really like a traditional monastery where it's of service and reverence and prayer. I feel like that's the thing that's happening right now is there's like a clarion call going out to whoever feels uh, like there's something that that rises up in mm -hmm. the heart center about the monastery and how can I serve, how can I help. So we felt to make this video yeah. just to really extend that invitation to connect if there's a spark coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just to connect. You may not even know uh, how you what could serve. or what you would do or how <laughs> yeah. you could serve, but um, that's why we share and we connect. Like we just act on the prompts. I called a couple people the other day just because I kept hearing their names mm -hmm. and it was a course they had just been praying about you know, they were feeling a deep, deeper sense of silence, and uh, and so they're coming. And, um, yeah, so it feels like it will be known. Mm -hmm. There will be a knowing in your heart. So there's several different things happening. There's the personal silence days, yes. which yeah. there's no agenda, there's no nothing. You're just here to unplug and enjoy and receive and open up on your own. Mm -hmm. And then there's the, uh, there's going to be week-long uh, silent retreats where yeah. we nurture the silence in different ways and then there's a three week uh, 21 day silence. That's our favorite right yes. now. <laughs> That's our it's favorite. Because right it's the newest. So. Yeah, the 21 day uh, very focused yeah. very structured mm -hmm. not really for the faint of heart for those who really feel a calling for uh, mind watching, really looking at where there's hooks in the mind that keep you from dissolving past those barriers into uh, the presence of who mm. you truly are. So, And because that one's such a deep call up, it's it's nearly a year away, but we wanted to give you a hint now mm. um, as, as we're setting up and you're getting in the vibe of what's happening and unfolding mm. here. Mm. And our present calling, the most immediate one, is for those who are called into deep service. Yeah, it feels like there's a deepening going on in the mind. There's, uh, the, you know, the great awakening is happening. We can feel it. For the last nine years, it's been really focused attention on awakening, focused attention on the practical application of A Course in Miracles. So now it's like coming into this more of this very deep mystical 
uh, vibe of stillness and silence and inner contemplation and, and just beingness, really, just like really just getting in touch with that heart center. And mm -hmm. So that's what I love about it right now. It's like you just feel this love and this safety when you when you get here. Everybody says that. So we just invite you to to come along with us and we're just walking each other home. This is a beautiful way to just kind of skip down the path of awakening. <laughs> We'll we'll go with an exit out with the gong.